Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Victoria 2, in which we have basically just ended the war between us and the Brits. Now, obviously I'm trying to occupy Gallup, so what's happened? So, apparently, I'm, as you can see, I put a lot of soldiers over here too. So what has happened? Well, I noticed that the AI stopped moving and they stopped doing things. So, I told, I, I like, saved the game. I then reloaded, and it's now January 3rd. So when I reloaded, we... This is literally the day we just pieced out with them. I don't know what's going on, but look at this. The UK accepted the peace offers from the German Empire. Forced the UK to dismantle the Empire. I acquired, acquired Aiden, so this looks so much better. And then, but then, 20 times Great War Capitulation? That's nuts. That's absolutely nuts. So, uh, we got up the war. Oh, I guess the Germans and them are still at war, whatever. But, we got up the war to like 60%. Um, but... The, Victoria 2 is so weird, where I just, you have to reload the game sometimes to make sure the AI actually starts working again, but I, I don't understand Victoria 2 apparently that well, because, I mean, we were only at 60%, sure the war wasn't going that well for pretty much anybody, we were winning, but I really don't know why the AI would just like, surrender at 60%, we, we didn't even invade the UK, I mean, heck, I was trying to start sending some soldiers over to Portugal so we could start getting rid of them, but... Apparently not right now, but let's go through some of these events as the game is lagging very not well on pause plantation. So, plantations in Rwanda, Urundi. It's a mountainous region which can hamper agricultural activity. However, the mountain climate is also well suited for a few plantations. We can take advantage of this by using the right mix of agricultural products and plantation system coupled with native workforce to greatly expand the production area. Great! African farms and mines, steam and combustion engines, as well as electricity and railways are promoting nothing short of a revolution in certain places of Africa. New places are cleared for bigger plantations, and mines are expanded for, with unprecedented speed. With a proper incentive, we can speed this up, or speed this process up in a few key areas, greatly expanding the size of our mines and farms in Africa. Great! And the return of our colonies with the recent defeat of colonial power. Our claim to be to one of our colonies they own are again within the spotlight. The international community at large agrees that these colonies should be returned to the Ottoman government. We just need to take the right steps necessary to get them back. Cool. And more African farms and mines? Yes, please. Oh, so hey, the Armenian question came back, too. Look at that. We need war policy jingoism. <clears throat> you know what? If we're here together already, I might be tempted to do such a thing. And actually, the fascists are a bunch of... They like that. You know what? If we choose this one... You know, I've got nothing against Armenian people. I think they're okay. They're pretty good. But in the mid-19th century, the three major European powers, Great Britain, France, and Russia, began to question the empire's treatment of its Christian minorities and pressured to grant equal rights to all subjects. With their involvement in the Great War, enemies are discussing the possibility of partitioning our territory. They want to give the lands they have a sizable population of Christians to their respective communities, especially the Armenians, to divide and weaken our empire. We can solve this problem and remove <clears throat> some people, their claims to this land. <clears throat> Oh, we get a, quite a bit of infamy, which I don't like, but, you know, it is what it is, whatever. Uh, 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 my, my finger slipped. My finger slipped. All right, then. So, huh. That's, actually, that's Armenian lands. We don't actually own Armenia for itself. But, uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, that does not look good. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that is. Wow. People might not. Are we doing this everywhere? Holy crap. So, you know what we're going to do? I'll fade and fade out, of course. But I look at the population now. So we're 17.5%, 57% Turkish. So when we come back together and we go to war with maybe somebody, maybe not just because we have the Great War probably modifier attached to us right now. Yeah. Then we'll uh, go to war with probably Transylvania, finally. Well, I'll see you in just a little bit then. Well, look at that. We're once again at war with Armenia. We've already moved in. And we're having a good time. Uh, some of the comments, though, from the last video include we should go fascist? So we can get rid of, like, other cultures. Now, I'll be honest here, like, we're done, like, doing the MD, the mass deaths right now. So, it's unfortunate, but right now our population is looking not too bad. 18% uh, of our population is Turkish. It was better than, the, I think it was 15% we had earlier? I can't remember exactly. But here's a culture map mode. So, actually, it's not too bad. We have more Kurds, or more Turkish people down here in Diyarbakir. And then, actually, we've got some over there too. Nice. And this part is majority Turkish. Literally 50% Turkish, half of Cyprus, or at least half of this one tile is, well, maybe a third of it's Turkish. Crete is a mess of people, Rhodes is a mess of people, these islands are a mess of people, Salonika is ma definitely majority Turkish, parts of northern Macedonia, parts of Bulgaria, especially Sofia, has a massive Turkish minority. Uh, there's a majority Turkish people in eastern Rumelia, 
as well as Vladiv and Constanta is the the Bruja has a lot of tricks as well. Even though, then again, I guess technically, there's a lot of other big groups here too. We got Tartar. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a mess. Actually, Hungarians is looking kind of okay. Ukrainians and Hungarians and Hungarians and such. Oh, we have one over here too. Southern Serbia too. Very Turkish. Very very Turkish. Oh, look at this too. We got majority Turkish down in Halaban. I mean, there's only 12,000 people, but in Tabuk, vast majority is Turkish. Qatar, or what would be Qatar eventually? Complete, almost completely Turkish. I'm mean, at 65%. I mean, we got a lot of Turkish in a lot of different areas. Persian, Mashriki, of course. Uh, that's that's not bad. And oh, we, there's British here. Wow, look at that. There's a lot of Brits down here. Anywhere else in Africa? I don't think anywhere in Africa really is that much Turkish. Oh, never mind. Holy cow. 83,000? So many people have been moving to Tur uh, Turkey. It's Africa. Holy cow. There's a lot of Ubangi, but uh, tons of Turkish people down here. That's a lot of people. Mm, anywhere else? I don't think so. I'm not seeing too many other places here. Uh, and we can kind of look at... I can't remember if we looked at the peace deal. Uh, the effects of the peace deal, but anywhere around here, our colonies not really... Uh, I think that's pretty much it. So, the peace deal. So this is what happened, because if you remember, America was at war with Germany, and they were like defending themselves, and Poland's looking thicker as well, of course, and Belarus is looking god-awful, look at that. Why did I ally them? And Lithuania's all the way over here too, which is really disgusting, regardless. So America, like, peaced out, capitulated to the Germans, and New England popped out, in the Germans' fear, they're a bunch of fascists in New England. Texas popped out, and they're conservatives, and they're by themselves, actually. Not a bad idea, and then... <clears throat> California Republic, which I'm just going to call the NCR from here on out, and they're liberals. So, and California got Oregon. I'm not sure if I exactly understand that, but it is what it is. So, Guiana's got a lot of stuff. Let's see. Actually, I, I actually had the option to take India, but you know who got it? Norway did. A bunch of socialists. Norwegians got it. Afghanistan looks looking pretty nice. Zhangji clique. Oh, and then the warlord, warlord era in China, so that makes sense. Yeah, I really wanted Norway, but I passed it up because oh, it was 10 infamy and I couldn't do that, so. We just could not take 10 infamy. This is still uncolonized. And anything else that I haven't shown, we obviously took Aiden because that was part of the peace deal, Swedish Congo. Uh, South Africa is allied to the UK still, but then there's fear. Bayushan land is independent. Southern Rhodesia is still here. And I want to just find someone else. I thought I was, I thought I was just to find somebody else. I can't remember. I think it was the Trucial States, but... Bayushin Len. Yeah, we got no more uh, Dipple Points for now. But yeah, this went to Nor Norway as well. Which doesn't make any sense to me at all. Norway made out really, really well. Just because I could not take any more land. Like, it sucks. It sucks so much. Was it really these guys I wanted to go to war with? The United Arab Emirates? We are allowed to declare war against this nation. I should get some more Dipple Points. Oman defaults. For giving their debt? Yeah, no. Well, these guys aren't going to last very long now, are these? But yeah, someone, like I said, uh, when the comments from the last video, someone said we should go fascist. And any dream for a, a Byzantium resurrection in this campaign for Greece is definitely over. Definitely, definitely over. Well, we're not making a lot of money. It's just because of national stockpile purchases, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, minus 7,000 compared to everything else. Yeah. Which, we'll talk... Which, actually, I've already automated, so... All right. Uh, well, oh, we won't get the extra infamy deduction. I don't have any points to spend. Ugh, terrible. There we go. I'm just. There we go. Beautiful. Ah, <sighs> now I would re. Oh, oh, there we go. We can create Transcaucasia. I honestly prefer looking like this, but actually, if we do create Transcaucasia, I usually just do all the decisions that we can do anyways, just because just because we can. We have, oh, we have a regency right now. Oh, that sucks. April 7th, 1925. That really sucks. Oof. We get more political reform desire, less influence, more pop militancy, consciousness, Cassus Bella, acquisition speed, so. The nations of the Southern Caucus might be united together, a vassal that will serve as a loyal, mighty ally to our country. Wait, we gain... Oh, uh, We could do that. I'm gonna say no, because I can't afford taking any more infamy. Maybe in the future? But we really can't do that, unless... I can release Transcaucasia here. There's a lot of places we can make. Wait, why can't we release Transcaucasia here? I would love to create the region, 
but I just can't afford the infamy yet. Now, can I get a little detail? Was it, was it these guys? It was these guys. It was. I already got it. Nice. Well, let's see what happens. If we end up going to war with somebody, so be it. Whatever. Abu Dhabi will be ours. No matter what. So let's do a little bit of money. Go ahead and open all these places up. I don't really care. Good, good, good. I'm getting some steam ship or steam turbine ships, which would be great. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And more tax efficiency? Don't mind if we do. I like to get a few more taxes. And we'll have some shippies done. Great, great, great. I think next up, I want to get some more money so tax efficiency. We can use a little bit more. We're gonna, oh, there they go. Beautiful. Now this is looking a little nicer. Yeah, we could do that, but I'm thinking, nah. Go and do that too. And build up some roads. Oh my goodness. Next up. God dang, Norway. Can you at least unite everyone down here? That'd be really nice. And, ooh, there's Kashmir as well. Wait. Am I... Why is this... Am I allied to somebody around? France? Wait, why does France own that? I guess I am allied to the French, but... Huh. Alright. And the Germans, well, they broke our alliance, so... We might not actually go for Morocco or Algeria, just because I need at least one great power ally. I mean, we really don't actually have to have that. Regardless. Actually, does... Who owns this? Italy, god dang it, owns that. Mm. Croatia, ooh. Ooh, if I go to war with them, we could actually be... We could really just beat this night out of... We are the number one great power in the world in terms of... In, of, of uh, da, 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 da. Army. The biggest army in the world. But in the meantime, actually, I didn't even raise my conscription level. Let me lower that spending just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. That'd be good. I'm still making more army units. I think... Well, regardless, I'll see you in just a little bit, in which I will decide who we're going to attack next. Well, everyone, I've decided, and as we look at, look at the nation in front of us... Oh, man. How right. So, they're allied with the Brits, who actually... I allied myself, so... They've got a lot of spheres, they've got a lot of allies, even though a lot of them are mi very, very minor Indians and Australia and Ireland and... Afghanistan, so they're only the eighth greatest power in the world, so I'm not thinking if, if they come try to fight us, it's not gonna be too bad. So we'll see what happens. Oh, wait, what? Nor. Okay, okay, I have an alliance with the socialist Norwegians as well. Wow, after getting India, oh my, they must have really risen in the ranks, and we're actually allied to Sweden as well. This is a very weird world where. Actually, Germany's number one, and I don't think I'll be able to beat them, because they're literally more than double my score right now. Literally more than double. America's below us. Actually, we're second in the world, so... Prestige Germany is extremely high. They have double our industry. Actually, we have a bigger military than them, but... Then again, I did build a second fleet. Actually, technically, a third fleet. So one... We've got another fleet over here, and we have that old fleet I have over here as well, so... It still exists. I'm just not doing anything with it. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Actually, I don't think too much else has really changed. I mean, I've, I've moved some focuses around. National, national spirits. No, these are focuses. Uh, Culture-wise, not much has really changed. Uh, this, are, this part is still quite Turkish, which, you know, if you love, I guess the Turks in this timeline, they just love, oh my gosh, so many cultures down here. If you love Central Africa, or if you're Turkish, you love Central Africa for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, I put my bureaucrats here, but Ubangi, Azanda, let's see, Misri, of course, Turkish, Azandi, we have Greek, which is assimilating to become Turkish people, so when we're in Greece, you can't assimilate Greek people to become Turkish, but when they move to Africa, it's great. We've got some Armenians there, too. Romanians are assimilating, Serbs, maybe, maybe not. Oh, what was that, Bulgarians? So, actually Persians, huh? Shiites? I mean... Ubangi Shari is literally 36% Turkish, and they're the dominant culture there. Holy cow. And overall in the empire, 18.33%. Now, normally that's not really great, but it's not bad. And it's so unfortunate for all the Brits that moved here. Holy cow. Actually, they all moved here. Oh, we can't assimilate them. That kind of sucks. Oh, uh, that sucks. Actually, do we have any... Oh, we have some Greeks. No, I don't think anyone's really assimilating here. Why would they? For the love of God, why would they? Uh, but, you know, whatever. And actually, majority Turkish there. Uh, there's this is such a giant mess of cultures and such. I love it, and this is dominantly, <laughs> dominantly Turkish. I love, I love how you can convert cultures and stuff. This is one of the reasons why I love Vicky Two so much, and that you know Tino, the New World of the Last Days of Europe, tries to model this somewhat, but they have no populations. It just 
Actually, this is all different. They have more Turkish people here too. Nice. Man, can we make all of Saudi Arabia, a, you know, a Turkish land? That'd be kind of cool. Of course, so we have to choose either one of these two, which really, really sucks. I want all this stuff now. Do we want the Arabian Gulf first or Baluchistan? So that's a Gulf. Oh, they have Baluchistan. I don't care about Baluchistan. I want the Arabian Gulf. Give me your tip. And we have to call in our allies just in case. So, Guinea Bissau will not accept. Pretty much no one will accept. No, literally no one will accept. All right. We'll see who our true allies are. Yep, France has said no, which is... I don't really care, I'll be honest. And now, have the British shown up? Not yet, but they might. Arab Uprising? Uh, we don't talk about that stuff. We don't talk about Arab Uprisings. Uh, you know what? Sure, why not? If the Russians start attacking, well, I'm not going to do anything about it. So, You guys abandon me. I'll abandon you at first glance. Pretty much. France? Fine. No Uprisings. What are you talking about? No, no, no. Hello. Oh, sure. Well, that was really fast. Nope. Get himself. Great! Well, at least we got our tip back. Or this tip. So, up next, I'm still not going to create Transcaucasia because there's no point. We're doing mutual funds. We're making plenty of money. Oh, ooh, we got some uh, fascists over there. So, I think next up, I might just cause a great w a war between me and Italy. That sounds like fun! Well, it is time for another war with Croatia. No, there was another comment that I did not address just yet, first of all. And you see, we have a war goal against them. Slavonia. For Slavonia. Uh, in the Divergence of Darkness mod for Victoria 2, we should play as Ching Du, Ching Dao, because that's like a colony in America. That seems like a lot of fun. I have not yet played Divergence of Darkness. I think I have it downloaded, but I might need to update it. So, uh, anything regarding culture? I mean, Turkish. I'm not going to say it's a disease, but it's still spreading. And Transjordan, it's looking, it's kind of looking mighty nice down there with all these Turkish people. And then Rutba. Oh my goodness, so good. And it's looking even better, looking better. This area is still pretty good. And other than that, not too much as all this happens. Only March 1st, 1926. Still not creating Transcaucasia. And that's a nice Poland, I'll be honest. That's a really nice Poland. Actually, yeah, Poland. Hmm. Well, it's time to go to war with Croatia. We're ready. I'm ready. They're allied with the Italians. Uh, acquire state, Slavonia. And. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll accept. Everyone wants to accept. Great. Alright, Croatia. You're fighting half the world now. Move the tanks in, move the tanks in. We'll see what happens. Hopefully the Italians want to join them. Yeah, they did. Okay. So, before we move on, let's show the wars. So, Japan is fighting with Qinghai and Baratia. is fighting Baiyang, China. China's killing itself. And well, the Japanese, the French, the British, the Czechs, the Trias, the Italians, the Spanish, Belgians, Swedes, Norwegians, Finns, and us against Croatia and the Italians. Well, then. Hopefully we can do well. Hopefully we don't lose. But, you know, like most things, there's no guarantee. Uh, oh, yeah, we can just go straight into there. Great. Good luck. A Nobel Prize in Literature. One of our illustrious authors have been awarded this year's Nobel Prize in Literature. A great honor for the literary or literary tradition in the country. Did you seriously attack them? Are you gassing them? Oh, they don't have gas defense, maybe. Ooh. Interesting. There we go. Very good. Polazars. And are they occupying Trias? I believe they are. I would rather not attack them there, so... Let's see what we can do by doing this, maybe. I would like a spare army to help them out, though, so... Oh, we can go straight through France to do that. Oh, my cat here. Join with my cat, Binky. Um... Well, I think I'll just keep you where you're at. Uh, I'll move you, and you guys can head over here, and then maybe go over there, maybe. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Nobel Prize in Chemistry. All right. Great honor for the state of chemistry in our nation. And since we are number two in the world, we do get to control when we do peace out, so. More organization. I'm really focusing a lot more on the naval stuff right now, so. Very, very good. Oh, well, crap. Why... Why did you leave in uh, stupid resistance or putting down rubble and such? That's all right. There's not that advanced. So I think we'll. I think we'll do okay. 
Please move Italy. Oh, there we go. We actually lost not that many guys. That's pretty good. What the heck with it. Go over here too. Just keep following them and kill them off. We lose a lot of guys, whatever. I made most make sure that most of our armies are conscripted of people not Turkish, so. Another Guan Dong Civil War, huh? Oh. Ah, they pieced out. Can we get military access? Yes. Oh, I was supposed to do that. God dang it, that sucks. Alright, whatever. Hey. And they're headed to Siskak. Nope. Well, we might just dismantle Italy here, so that'd be kind of fun. Well, no, why? No, what are you talking about? There we go. We get a free one. Wars. Oh crap, that's actually not good. Oh, if we did this now, oh, that's not going to be good. But if we ought to read about this, go right ahead. Which means there's only probably going to be maybe one more episode in this campaign. Maybe, maybe just because that's going to take time to clear that out. And this campaign's a little dragging on. I don't think it's a we're able to really do anything against Germany too much. I mean, they're so strong. Actually, they're below us in military strength, though, like I said before, but still. That oh, you guys already landed. Um, head on up here, then, actually. Wasn't planning on dismantling the Italians, but, you know, things happen. Oh, they're having rebels. Casually having a lot of... Holy... How many fascists do you have? Well, what do you expect? Well, we are entrenched anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Hopefully we can do well. Oh, don't, 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 don't leave, don't... Oh, where, where are those... Do not land... Okay, that's good. Uh, where do those soldiers go? Um... Seriously, where'd that army go? Go and put these guys down. They don't deserve it. Oh, they don't deserve life, I should really say. There you go. Um, oh, there you are. No, no, no. Go through here. Oh, wait, what was that? I didn't read that. I I, I just press, 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 press. I was just pressing buttons. Naval organization. Good man. We can have a massive military. I love it. Just kind of hold on for now. You're doing a great job. Alright, just dock. There you go. There we go. Now that's nice. Help them out. Oh, oh, you're over here too. Nice. Nope. Italy, you should have saw this a little before. What do you think was going to happen, Italy? What do you think was going to happen? Well, let's see what's... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ah, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Better pay their debts from here on out. The general's dead. What else is new? Oh, my gosh. Oh, we're, they don't have gas defense, like I said. Oh, we're just gassing so many of them. Ugh. Oh, God, 130,000 lost while we lost only 7,000. Ooh, cut Italy down size now. We're not quite there yet, but that's all right. Now, they're headed to Pescara. So we're not going to go to Pescara. Was it Pescara? Yeah, it is Perugia. And you guys go there. The end of the great power. No one is Italy. That's only 3,000. That's not too bad. Oh, there's another war going on as well. Second war of Japanese aggression against us, fine. Alliance, fine. I I'll use you then. Oh, we gotta go for Rome, man. So what's going on with these guys? Nothing? Okay. Oh, hello. Are you attacking me? Oh, we're just gassing them. That's so destructive. Even one army... That's outnumbered. Oh my goodness. Well, we lost 8,000, 8,400 more men. Well, they just lost 42,000. Jesus Christ. I just wanted Rome, man. I just wanted Rome. And up next, experimental psychology could be good. Let's go with shift work. Uh, I keep on doing some more of this stuff. Let's do this one. Oh, wait. Why are we at war with more people now? Lithuania, Sulu, Guiana. 
Oh, okay, so... Hmm. That's a hundred score to acquire Slavonia? That's so much. Why is it so much? Hmm. Well, hold on. Let's, let's see. Croatia. They would accept this, and they're merely negotiating for themselves. There we go. That's nice. Ah, Slavonia. I love Slavonia. Slavonia. Not Slovenia. It's a very weird group here. Very good. Ah, I love it. Yeah, just conquer them quickly. What's going on here? Makes sense, makes sense. Ah, Roma. Help him out. Sixty nine thousand more were just good. Nice. Ah, this is so mean, actually. Um They would not they would never accept that. So Alright, we've done it. Great! So let's go and move our soldiers back over here. You guys are looking really not good, but you know what? We'll we'll replenish your stock of soldiers. We have an entire army around here, which is great. I'm going to put another army down by them just in case. And then you guys, you guys go right there. But you are actually heading right there. Now let's go do this. State in Eritrea? Don't mind if we do. A state in northern Somaliland? Oh, we're going to put a lot more trucks here, aren't we? And, oh, African farms and mines. Don't mind if we do. Thank you. I mean, technically we can create Transcaucasia. We will probably do it eventually. It's only two infamy. We get more prestige. I kind of like owning them myself. Okay, then. Well, that's pretty good. Well, I think we're going to end today's episode there then because it's going to take some time to dismantle them and I'll show you the effects of it in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this somewhat shorter video than the last one. If you did, consider maybe leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when you suggest who should take out for the maybe one of the last great powers because I will continue to take out Oman. But maybe Germany, maybe France? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.